Each of the hair follicles on your body is connected to glands that secrete an oily substance to lubricate your skin and hair. To do that, the substance known as sebum needs to move up the hair shaft and out the opening of the follicle. But sometimes, the sebum acts almost like a glue to dead cells being shed by the skin. Together, they form a soft plug that blocks the shaft, while the sebaceous glands continue to produce sebum. The growing blockage can stimulate local bacteria like Staphylococcus to reproduce. Increasing bacteria leads to a response by the immune system. A pimple is the visible evidence of this process. White pus formed from sebum and dead cells and bacteria, and redness from inflammation as the immune system tries to kill the bacteria and heal the tissue. Both whiteheads and blackheads are comedones, which means a hair follicle with a plug made up of oil and dead skin cells that traps bacteria beneath. Microscopic glands in the skin supply an oily substance called sebum to hair follicles, often called pores. Sebum is designed to lubricate the hair and skin and usually drains to the surface. Sometimes, however, the sebum becomes blocked and bacteria begin to grow. If the buildup of sebum and bacteria does not have an opening to the surface of the skin, it is called a whitehead. A blackhead forms if the pore opens to the surface, allowing air to enter. Sebum contains a pigment called melanin, the same substance that gives our skin color. Melanin turns dark or oxidizes if it is exposed to the air, which is why blackheads are dark. They are not dirt, and scrubbing does not remove them. Both blackheads and whiteheads can release their contents and heal, although this process can be slow.